Now we have someone I'm so excited about, Rosalind and Kenzo. Got, just wait till you see Kenzo from Golden Wolves here with me. Thank you so Hi. much for coming. Uh, Come on, Kenzo. Oh, found the dog treats. <laughs> Hi there. Come on up, buddy. Oh, hi. This is definitely the best job ever. <laughs> Thank you hi so there. much for being here. Excited to be here. Thank look you for at, inviting us. I mean, look at this bandana, you guys. It's, that's just ridiculous. I love it in the best way. <laughs> um, so tell me a little bit about yourself and, and Kenzo here. Oh, I'm Rosalind. Um, this is Kenzo. I have another golden KB who's at home. Um, we're Golden Wolves, uh, originally from Chicago. We moved here 2015. Okay. <laughs> SoCal. And you like it? Uh, yeah, Sugar was oh. my original dog, and I got KB. I adopted KB, and we got Kenzo 2021. Oh, wow. Valentine's Day. How old is he? He's just turned three. He's my three and a half, actually. Three and a half. Oh, you're so big for three. I love it. 75 pounds. It. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that would take up a lot of space in my bed. That's for sure. Um, so how did you get started as, you know, a pet influencer and posting on social media about your dogs? Oh, it came organically. I started as a blogger mm -hmm. and it was just natural. It was so easy just to post in socials. Right. At that time, it's just so, it's, it's not as big as not what's happening right now. Yeah. And it's so competitive. Yeah. But, you know, I'm happy where we're at and what I've achieved, so I'm... <laughs> oh, you guys, you do amazing work, and that's why I'm so happy Thank to have you. you here. Are you just trying to block the, the view so I <laughs> yes. just look at you? Like, <laughs> yeah. don't look at my mom, look uh, at me. I, I still... Look me in the eyes. I still consider myself a, as a blogger, you know. Okay. But not all influencers are bloggers. Right, so but it kind of came naturally came in naturally, a way. It came which is nice. Right. Because I still get... Um, Sponsored post, right? Which they request for a, a social media post. <laughs> you, I mean, I could just sit here and we could just be doing this okay, the entire so. the entire interview time. Um, okay. So, what style of content did you see the most success with? Um, when I started my blog, it's definitely about dog health, right? And, um, a, a senior dog, right? And and nowadays, it's just basically brand photos of products and stuff like yes, that. Yes, yep. And yeah, now every, every brand wants a video. Everyone, <laughs> Everyone yes. wants a video, no, so. Photos are of the past at this point. Well, they point still do. Some, yes, they, they little, still do. The carousels, they're coming back yes, a little bit. I get a lot of um, uh, product requests. Okay. Um, they just buy 100 photos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like oh, for UGC and uh, yes, wow. you know. So no posting, uh, uh, just a hundred photos of their product, and they just want to reuse it for their the marketing. Reason, and... Which I have no idea where they use it. <laughs> like whatever, as long as I get my check in the mail, yeah, we're good. I mean, that's the thing, you know. I would love to be, you know, be tagged on, but you no, know, you sign something, but which is something that you had to accept. You right, know. right. I mean, there's different levels of social yeah. media. There's UGC creators, pet influencers, and there's all different types of content you can create. But I love um, all of your content. I think it's great. What advice do you have for <laughs> others who want to follow in your footsteps? Uh, well, I've started for a long time, but first and foremost, you have to be authentic. Right. It's so important. Yes. Second is, it's so good to be inspired by somebody else. Right. But what works for them may not work for you. Exactly. Uh, third is you have to learn to say no and be selective. That's a huge one. <laughs> yes, I've, I've rejected so much the past few. Because you know? it goes back to the authenticity. Yes, and I, I want to, do I want to do something fun with my dog or do I want to do this and stress myself for three days? Right, yes. <laughs> and if it's, there's a limit for like, ask for this three days, you have to do this. I can't. Right. My dog can't do that. I can't do it. Yeah, so. I can't change my dog's diet in three days yes. to try out this yeah, food or like, whatever yeah. that may be. And that is something that a lot of pet influencers, you have to take into account. You know, it's not just you that is doing this campaign. It's your dog, too. Yes. So if it is a new dog food, you might need a little time to yeah. do that transition. It's, or dog toy. It's right, just, exactly. I can't, I can't have my dog You're chew like, all that food. I don't know if he's going to like it, to be honest, yes. but um, you can uh, still pay me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so... Yeah, so another thing is um, you have to be nice. Right. Um, you have to give um, more than 100%, and it's okay to do extra work. Yes. I do that all the time, yes. which is uh, it's good. And lastly, it's really important to have fun. 
Yes. <laughs> have you and your dog. Yes. I mean, there is that definite professional aspect of it, um, treating it like a job, because it is a job. Yes. Um, but having fun and the authenticity, I think, is such a big point. And I think we're seeing that more and more with um, TikTok and other <laughs> platforms where people want to see the behind the scenes. Yes. Pull the curtains and I want to see what's going on. I don't... <laughs> I don't want to see you in all full makeup. I want to see your hair up in a bun and, you know, yes, look at normal. Like, yes, exactly. Perfect. Yes. And, and so I love that that was one of your points, and I definitely see that in your content. Um, so there's the five points that yes. I always remind everybody. I, I love that. I, everybody asks me. And she said I should have been writing them down. That was <laughs> so great. those are the things that they always ask me. And I'm always free. You know, everybody wants to have a blog. Yeah, it's, it's great. I think it's still relevant. Absolutely. <laughs> and I think. You know, there was this time, like maybe, but I think blogs are coming back big time. Uh, yes, because uh, past um, um, past brands, you reach out to us and hey, we still want you to post in a in a blog, which is I'm really surprised. Absolutely. <laughs> so I'm, you're like, okay, fine with me. Yeah. Let's do some social content and a blog. Yeah, yeah. and they don't require, which is um, it's interesting. I I, it's I think very that's I think that's so great. So, um, so not only do you create amazing content as a pet influencer, but uh, I've seen Kenzo <laughs> in his AKC events, which is so impressive. I saw he won uh, the AKC championship a little bit of over, over a year ago. Uh, yes. What was the process to get him started with that? Um, we didn't we didn't expect it. Right. Uh, when we got him, his breeder wanted to show him. Yes. So we accepted. So we co-own him for the past three years when he was in a dog show. Okay. So his breeder, Cali Gold Retrievers, uh, pretty much set up everything. I have no idea about dog oh, shows. Wow. I learned myself from her, from her handlers and everything. So we pretty much drove him in the show, dropped him off two hours before the ring. It's called the dog, hand, dog handler drop off. Yes. Uh, we learn about lots of, about grooming because it gets groomed like massively. Oh, the most beautiful coat, by the so way. So Ron, I... dog dad, learn how to do paws. So if you see his paws, it's like a poodle. I mean, <laughs> so, that is a good looking uh, coat. So that's, um, and that was a great, you know, when he achieved his championship, especially because he won the Western Regional 2023 of Golden Retriever Specialty in Amazing. Arizona, which is, we didn't expect, you know, we just, how long did it take for him to get up to that point? Because being three years old, I mean. Uh, no, so probably he was just, he just turns two. So he didn't go every month. He just, uh, because since we're local, we can't really drive everywhere. His handler goes to Oregon, to Utah. Right. So we just did local uh, California. His breeder took him sometimes when they went to Nevada. One show he won for the winner's dog. And oh my uh, not many shows, but he wants a lot of the blue ribbons and the uh, winner's dog and especially his so, championship. So Kenzo goes and gets trained by the breeder and then Kenzo comes home and he's like, Mom, this is what I learned. You need to <laughs> learn now. I'm training you. <laughs> and now we did a lot of training too. So that's why we transitioned to dog sports because it was it was a big thing about the, the right. dog show. It's it world. huge. It's huge. So we were having fun doing the uh, fast cat. You want to come here? Want to do fast cat and some dog diving? Oh, here so he comes! comes. The man, so the he just got his he just got his bee cut up. He just got his bee cut. I mean, last can month. everyone just appreciate <laughs> the grooming of this dog? It is unreal. See his and paw. the paws. <laughs> like, uh, dog dad. Dog dad over here learned how to do Kenzo's paws. <laughs> if he would, he could, right? Um, so, uh, do you have any upcoming AKC events? Uh, more fast cat, and he's gonna get his uh, dog diving this month. Oh, oh wow. July, the end of July. I would love to see you do some dock diving. That would be such a big treat. <laughs> oh, and he just passed his test. Oh, he did. <laughs> oh, he just did the animal after yes. evaluation. Yeah. So, cat. Uh, yes. Laura Lee said, "Yeah, he'll take him." Oh, perfect. <laughs> now we're gonna have these animal actor too. I love you so much. Um, so, last question here. Uh, just a general question about today. What are you guys excited for? I know you got here a little early. 
checked out a couple things. Are there any other events you uh, want to check out? No, we just um, it's just all hot, so we've been <laughs> yes, <laughs> we've is. been just checking out everybody. It is, and um, there are some cooling pads over yes, there. Yes, he did the cooling yes. pad. Okay, just perfect. Just meeting new friends, old friends. Oh, we don't usually come here in LA. So <laughs> yes, well, so many new friends. It's such a great. Yes, <laughs> we just we just got a new uh, leash, so that's I, exciting. I just love this bandana, but uh, uh, it was made by um, a girl in Florida. Oh, Kenzo, are you just going to stay here with me and help interview all day? <laughs> Sorry we miss Colleen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Colleen, um, she, she's at home watching right now. Hey, Colleen. Hi. Um, but thank you so much thank you for, so for being much. here. I really appreciate it. And Kenzo, I love you. I love you so much. <laughs> thank thank you, you so much. I really appreciate it so much. Oh, okay. All right. Go ahead. Thank you so Go much. Go ahead, bud. Go ahead, bud. Oof. Thank you. Um, so before our next interview, I wanted to do a little bit of a spotlight on a couple brands that are here today at Paulympics. We have Ryokin Instinct, who are a Seattle-based company. They provide sustainable, <laughs> hi. Yes, go. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Hi, come Ryokin. on in. All right, here, here is Ryokin Instinct. Am I saying that right? Yeah, Ryokin, you got it. Perfect. <gasps> okay, because I look at my <laughs> no, notes. No, I know. I it's put, tough. I put, you know, it's like, like how to... <laughs> it's like another language, so I, I, I get it. Okay, I'm... Whew, okay, um, so tell me about your company. I was, I was just kind of hyping you up a little bit, yeah, but um, tell me about Ryokin. Yeah, so Ryokin means hunting dog in Japanese. Yes. So it's kind of inspired by dogs that are really adventurous, very active, like getting out there. And we make like performance bars for dogs, kind of like cliff bars for dogs. Love it. And um, yeah, it was started because like my background was in biochemistry and like, right. all about like human metabolism. And yeah, just became a crazy dog mom, took all of that science knowledge and put it into keeping my dog alive forever. <laughs> and yeah, that's, that's our business. <laughs> so we're keeping our dogs alive forever. Yeah, that, right? That's, like that's yeah, the mission for like, everyone, right? <laughs> I, I saw something, it was, I saw something recently, it was like, this new medicine where they're like, you could keep your dog, you know, for 30 years now. And I'm like, I will, you know, yeah, I'll sell I will it take, candy. yeah, I will like, take it. sell my house. <laughs> I don't care what I'm it takes to keep my dog alive as long as possible. Same, I'm with you. Um, so uh, tell me more about, uh, let's, I mean, yeah. the Roku bar. This is what I was looking at. Yeah. And tell me what kind of flavors do we have? Um, yeah. And this is good for, yeah, like active. Active dogs, so like higher fat, higher protein content absolutely like zero fillers zero additives like very very clean um yes yeah, so we have our core flavors which is beef lamb pork seafood and then we source everything from um regenerative family farms in washington and oregon so, okay yeah just like very conscientious of you know every aspect i love that i love this packaging <laughs> thank too thank you they this look is... like chocolate bars you want to open one yes yeah okay, okay. let's do it <laughs> Like, I'm probably going to want to eat it. No, I, they're human grade. I've tried. They I, just don't taste like seasoned. Ooh, it you know smells what I mean? good. Oh, right? It smells it's really fun. good. Uh, it's wait. Fun. Oh, it's... Yeah. Isn't it fun? Wait. <laughs> can I uh, give these to my husband? Please. Like, you can toss it. Go get me some water. <laughs> there you go. Go get my phone. <laughs> Throw it at him. So good. These are great. So, um... I see, can you explain, you know, what, how many would you give to yeah. sizes? And so it just, it, it mostly depends on the weight of the dog. So right. like obviously smaller dogs need like less calories, yes. bigger dogs need more. But yeah, that's the uh, feeding guide on the back and it's just pretty, it's pretty self-explanatory. Like yeah. Small I, dog, uh, small food, big so dog, big food. <laughs> I don't know. My dog is pretty small and I feel like he could go through that's like so five of these. Well, we have like the minis also for like little dogs and so they're like tiny versions of the bars. So oh. like, cute too. you can tear through that too. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just making you work. <laughs> don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> Oh, they're oh, mini! Babies. <laughs> Stop. It's so cute. I love everything mini. Same. That is amazing. It, right? That is amazing. <laughs> so um, besides, you know, all of your expertise in um, and your knowledge, what was what was that um, what was the uh, motivation for you to start? Was it, you know, a, a dog that you had? Yeah. And... So, like, my main dog is a Sheba, and we live up in Washington, so we always like hiking, right? Right. And, you know, just with my background, I was trying to figure out how to feed him when we were gone away from his food. Yeah. We feed raw. And, 
just like no options that were really like high quality. Interesting. Yeah, you would think that. You would think like in the Washington area yeah. would be covered and then you, with like, that. Go into Safeway, right? And like me and my fiance would see like walls of cliff bars, power bars, oh, Luna so, bars. Like, so many bars, yeah. so many and power then bars. We'd go to like our local pet shop and like nothing. Nothing. They're like, oh, you can take a bag. I'm like, no, I mean like a like portable I'm shoes. not carrying a bag <laughs> yeah. of dog food on my 10 mile hike exactly. sorry so like, yeah that was just kind of well yeah and it is very lightweight yeah which is so nice you know for long yeah, longer so like, camping or totally. hiking or any you know big day activity you have with your pet totally. like you could easily carry totally. this I mean yeah. And then, yeah, just really clean ingredients. So like every calorie is working for your dog. Oh, that is so great. <laughs> and do you have anything big upcoming? Anything you can tell us about? Big? Or? I feel like this was pretty big. <laughs> like the fact that we came to LA was pretty big. Oh, I love that. <laughs> okay, so being at Paralympics, yeah. I love that. And with me, right? Yeah, this, this is the highlight. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so I really much. appreciate it. Yeah. And I definitely will come check out your awesome. booth. Thank you for interview was lovely yeah thank you so good. much <laughs> i right. appreciate it okay thank you so much bye thank you take these out of the way um or, no okay. no okay. i can leave them up here <laughs> i might want to chew on one <laughs> um next up we have um from awa awa ponderia hi how are you so oh good, oh, good. Uh, okay good? You can just take a seat. Take a seat right here. You got yes. it. Yes. Cool. Um, so you have a healthy dog food and treat company inspired by the owner Elizabeth's Mexican culture, which I thought was really cool. I saw the um, pan dulce. That's right. Says, and yep. then the churros. Right. That one got me. I was like, that is so funny. Well, and then I saw the flaming so, hot Cheeto so ones. So we, we first got now. Now we have this uh, hot off the press right here. We have this uh, flaming hot. Um, fluff and hot Cheetos, oh, and uh, those gosh. are 100% lamb, and uh, also has uh, just for the color, just to make it look like if they were hot Cheetos. They're not really hot, but they're very healthy for your dogs and uh, different oh, pets. So that is so smart. Yeah, that I mean, is the CEO, so the CEO of the company was supposed to be here today, but she's undergoing a kidney transplant today. Oh my goodness! So I'm I'm the one representing here today. Oh well. Yeah. Thoughts, thoughts going out to her, um, but this is just so amazing, and I, I love how you're taking human food and making it. Because flaming hot Cheetos, I can go through a bag of these oh, yeah. easily, <laughs> easily. <laughs> so the fact that my dog gets oh, yeah. to also enjoy some flaming hot Cheetos yeah. with me is yeah. everything. We can sit there and we can watch our shows together and go through a bag of flaming hot Cheetos together. Mm -hmm. um, so can you tell me a little bit more? What what else do you have up here? Well, these are our four most popular products here. You've seen the. Uh, uh, the fluff and hot uh, Cheetos here, mm -hmm. and we have the uh, uh, Papa Noodle, which Pup is uh, noodle. also very popular. Oh my goodness! Yeah. and then we also have this uh, goldfish box here for cats. Even like this as well. So I mean, you can even use it for your cats. Well, I have three cats and a dog, yeah. so good we'll for their see. skin. Lots of omega vitamins in there. Oh my gosh! Mm -hmm. So I can eat. Flaming Hot Cheetos, Goldfish, and a cup of noodles with my pets. That's right. And That's we can, right. And we can bond about That's it. That's right. There you go. That is so cool. Yeah. I love this. And then this okay. one's a little sample pack. You know, this one has, like you were mentioning earlier, we have the uh, Mitza Pan, which is a popular Mexican candy. And then uh, we also have this uh, Conchita, which is also in the shape of a Mexican sweet bread, uh, which is all 100% nice. meat. Uh, just in the shape and in the form, and this is a uh, famous uh, Mexican bread. They call them uh, a shape of a pig, so it's called a puerquito. This is also meat. Oh, but it is in a shape of all a in, pig. All inspired by the culture, you know, even the bag, you know, and like I said, like you said also, the uh, ingredients are 100% um, meat, and uh, she makes them with love because she made them for her dogs in the first place, and now She's uh, giving it to everybody else that li would like to enjoy these treats. I love that, combining your culture with something so amazing like this and making it fun. Yeah. For, I mean, I feel like it mainly is fun for the pet parents because right. you're like, okay, exactly. who's ready for some exactly. Flaming Hot Cheetos? I'm and they're just like, I don't care, just give me the treat. Yeah. But I, I would came have up so with much fun. Yes. I was like, you know what? This, these treats are for people that treat their 
pets like family. Yes, basically. and my pets are my children, so <laughs> that goes right with it. Um, can you let us know where we can order? Uh, yes, you can just go ahead and go to the, directly to the website. Um, it's uh, awaawa.com um, and uh, also on uh, Instagram and uh, you can look for us at this at uh, location and we'll go ahead and ship any orders that you need and get them out to you. Yep, so I'll be ordering like a pallet oh, worth, man. worth of these. I hope we can keep up with that type of order. We're going to be, we're gonna be, have to upscale here. Yeah, I'll be keeping everything going. Just, I'm just going to have my credit card billed every month. Oh, wow, okay, you got it. We're going to have to get some more machines now. I'm so excited. Well, thank you so much for being thank here today. Thank you very much. I really I appreciate, appreciate it. I'm gonna, is that okay if I keep this here? Yeah, no problem. Yes. Yeah, this is Because I'm getting hungry and these are starting to smell I mean, better I... and better as I keep going on. So. You, go, you can keep this little bag Oh, also. wow. Thank you so much. Well, I appreciate thank it. Thank you. And um, have a great rest of your day. Same here. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Lastly, we have Cookies and Co. Come on in. Oh, my goodness. Hi. Look at these. <laughs> a lot of goodies. Okay, so you have handmade pet products. Yes. You have the uh, snap bandanas, yes. leashes, Go collars. Bandana. <gasps> it's the lammy. It's the lammy. <laughs> Everyone loves the lammy. Oh my gosh. I feel like this is very millennial, like a millennial pet parent. They're like, <laughs> lammy. <laughs> they would love that. That is so cute. Okay, so tell me, you hand make all of these? Yes. So <laughs> all of our bandanas and our walk sets are handmade, which is super nice for people who Want, looking for quality or maybe for walk sets a little bit more customized to their height, their size. So wow. this is our hands-free leash. Oh my this gosh. Is made of like this is bougie bouncy. looking. <laughs> I feel like I would look like a celebrity walking down the street with my dog connected to this. Yeah, it's so like it's nice to get to like color match. So you kind of build your own based on the colors that you want. Right. And then I'll build it to your specs. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And oh, so tell me, um, tell me some more about um, wh why you started this business. What was your inspiration? Let me let me hear the whole story. Okay, so I think we started like literally in the midst of COVID. Oh boy, um, twenty twenty. Everyone was at home, everyone was adopting dogs, and I always loved crafting. Yeah. And so my biggest thing was like I was a crazy dog mom who loved buying bandanas for my dog. Right. But I couldn't find any that either fit bigger dogs or were more like boyish prints. Yes. And so my focus was like, you know what, I can make some. And I love how adding these little snaps to the back because I like my biggest pet peeve is like chasing the dog and trying the to tie it. The snap is everything. Yeah. <laughs> Because I, everyone knows at home trying to tie, yep. you know, and you're like, oh my god, am I choking my dog? Yeah. Put the two fingers in, make yeah. sure there's enough space, but he still looks like he's choking. But like, this makes it so. It's a lot safer too, because if they do pull really hard, it does come apart. So very like, true. No choking here. <laughs> and the material, it's like thick. It's a great material. Yep. I feel like you put a lot of love into this. Yeah. These, these are so great. Thank and you. Um, so what, what's your favorite design that you have? Or what, what's the most Ooh. popular slash what's your favorite? That's really hard. Lammy is always a popular. Yep. Um, but my favorite is probably during the fall season, we do flannels. Oh. And so they're softer, they're thicker, they're warmer. And then every once in a while, I'll do a limited edition drop with like matching human infinity scarves. So the, so the humans can match with their dog scarves. Oh my gosh, where do I sign up for the like pre-sign up? I love to match my dog. I think everyone should do it. Yeah, we get a lot of like Christmas pictures and things like that, or like pumpkin patch pictures of the family. That is so cute. <laughs> and an infinity scarf, yeah. that's adorable. I haven't, I haven't heard of that before. Yeah. So that's, that's amazing. <laughs> I will definitely be ordering 20. Um, and not only do you have this amazing company, you hand make things, everything's made with love. Um, you also donate yep. some 10% uh, of your proceeds to local animal rescues. Yep. Tell me how that started, what, what was that process, why, I mean, why, I get the why, yeah. but yeah, tell well, me about that. Long story short, my childhood dream was to be a vet. Uh, unfortunately, I sucked at biology, which is kind of important <laughs> for that occupation. Yes. And so I was like, you know what? I can find other ways to give back somehow. And so I love, I have two rescues at home. Um, right now, we've been donating to the Animal Pad Rescue in San Diego. Amazing. They're, they do such, like, amazing work. They take right. in the most difficult dogs and the dogs that require the most medical care. Right. And so obviously, there are bills and things like that. Hi. And so yeah. um, we've been donating to them since we began. Cookies Co. like four years ago, so. That is incredible. Yeah. So, you know, if anyone wants 
really high quality, handmade with love pet products that also gives back. Definitely check out Cookies & Co. Where can people buy? Yeah, so we are at Paul Olympics, but <laughs> we're also online. So cookiesandco.shop is gonna be our URL. Okay. Um, we're also very active on Instagram, so any new prints or new products are always posted there first. Okay, and what's your Instagram handle? Um, it's the.cookiesandco. Okay, so cookiesandco.shop, and then at these Oh, the cookies, dot cookies and co. The dot cookies and co. Yeah. Got it. Okay, make sure to follow and check out her website. And you might want to get one of these before I sell them out. <laughs> well, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much for being here yeah. today. I love your products. Thank you. And I appreciate everything you do for yeah. animal rescues. Thank you so much. You. Have a good one. You too. <laughs> that was awesome. I have so many products here. If you see a couple of these missing, I did not eat them, um, but anyway, after this commercial break, I am talking to the usual Suspects Flyball team, and then later talking to radio personality Cece Valencia. You won't want to miss this. Tuned.